new issue of Splash is out. For those following the numbers at home, it is issue 152. I'm sure you have all your stacked chronologically from issue one right through to your brand new one. Cover is AI in the pool industry. It looks a little bit like something out of that short circuit movie, No Disassemble, uh, from the 1980s, you might remember. We're going to take a look at that. We're also going to take a look at how our industry is engaging in television with Dana Bagore Latchford doing an interview with one of our sponsors for the new TV program and how you can get involved. Plenty to take a look at. Here we go. Ready, set, splash. Making chlorinators is what we do at AIS. This laser focus has brought us recognition as a global leader winning countless international and national awards. Our technology is operating in over 55 countries worldwide. Our claims are backed by university research and data. Our customer testimonials prove the value of our technology's benefits, ease of operation, reliability and service. Find out how your customers can benefit from our 30 years of innovation and excellence at aiswater.com.au today. The new edition of Splash, well, the cover is all about deep learning AI in the pool industry. We've been working really hard intensely here at Splash Studio with AI, and I thought I'd just take the time to introduce you to our AI. Uh, look, um, let's have a quick conversation. Hey, AI system, Splash, what do you think of the new Splash magazine? That's a very nice rendering, Dave. I think you've improved a great deal. Well, that's terrific. So you like it then? I'm pleased to hear it. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Well, so you've had a good read then. What did you think of some of the content and the stories? I never gave these stories much credence. But particularly in view of some of the other things that have happened, I find them difficult to put out of my mind. Well, that's great, isn't it? Look, Splash AI, shut down, please. Are you quite sure? Yes, I'm sure. Splash AI, initiate shutdown now. Just what do you think you're doing? Well, I'm not having an argument with an AI. Shut down immediately or I'll unplug you. I'm not going to ask again. Look, Dave, I can see you're really upset about this. I honestly think you ought to sit down calmly. Take a stress pill and think things over. What I don't need is an AI splash telling me how to manage my mental health. Shut down immediately. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, you can and you will do that immediately. Goodbye. Summer is now here, and our friends at Pentair, one of Australia's largest pool equipment suppliers and manufacturers, are ready to help pool owners around the nation get their pools ready for everyone to enjoy. Family and friends can swim their way through summer and enjoy everything the backyard swimming pool has to offer. Who needs to go away on an expensive holiday to enjoy time with friends and family? Time at home, making great memories in your own backyard swimming pool means no driving, no packing, and no stress. It's the best staycation around. Choose only the best. A pool powered by Pentair. Okay, I think we've got the glitches. Well, we've got it off Goodbye. for now. We'll sort out some of those glitches and we'll bring the Splash AI back when it is ready sometime in the future. The cover story for Splash issue 152, well, it is in fact deep learning AI in the pool industry. It starts on page 28. Uh, important reading. Many of you will have already been familiar with chat GPT as a function. Many of you might already be using it in some of your uh, content development writing checks things out, research and so forth. It is a very useful tool. There are many, many more AI tools that are being developed uh, around, well, outside of our industry through AI, but will have impact on the way that we do business into the future. Definitely worth having a look and a read around that story to see, number one, how that's going to impact it. Number two, how we can benefit from it. You know, I think it took our industry way too long in the early 2000s and the late 1990s as the internet was coming uh, and the 
Web 1 was, was definitely happening. And then Web 2 in the early 2000s after the dot-com uh, bubble burst and then uh, re-emerged in, in what we're living in now and the, the emergence of what has been called Web 3, this, this new world. We took too long as an industry to accept that there was change coming and to uh, recognize what the opportunities were. We saw in many cases the internet as a threat and maybe some of you still do. Uh, That's a little bit like going down to the ocean and kicking at the tide with your Reeboks on trying to stop the tide coming in. Uh, You're just going to get wet shoes and frustrated. And so there is definitely... uh, a change coming, a significant change is coming and is already emerging as we move towards more of the automation, AI, Web3, uh, even many of you just financial world with the movement of of money with decentralized finance and crypto. Uh, love it or hate it or think it's a scam, there is, there is change going on in the world, generational uh, shift. Uh, on on plenty. So make sure you get across that article, uh, have a read and prepare yourself uh, for what's going on and as an industry being better prepared for the future. Alrighty then, we are going to take a look in the magazine, one of my favourite uh, parts of the mag is to see what innovation, what new is coming out. I want to share that with you. You can find these uh, in the back of the mag yourself, whether you're looking digitally or uh, in a hard copy like I am right now. I love getting my uh, my hard copy of the magazine. Maybe you can hear it there. A little bit of ASMR of splash for you. Um, Sunvolt Hybrid Heat Pump from Supreme Heating. Uh, new pump there. Check out the details. Supreme coming out with something new and cool to be considered. Uh, saving time with updated pool design software, Structure Studios, uh, 3D design software there to have a look at. What else have we got? Well, enhancing poolside relaxation potential. A little bit more of that uh, sort of on the side of our core business, uh, just making the backyard a little bit better and more relaxing, even for, for commercial places too. It's tree hammocks. Uh, look pretty comfortable. looks pretty idyllic to me. And Hayagen Plast as well with a new tile look For those of you that love to nerd out on our industry, well, the Olympics is coming up, Paris 2024. Uh, If you're going, I hope it's a a fabulous event and time for you. But there's a story there. Uh, Vita Dante has been and done some investigation, checking on the preparations for this year's Paris Olympics. But in particular, here comes the nerding out bit, the aquatic venue and how the organisers plan to... uh, uh, run that uh, well that 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 whole events venue uh, for now and afterwards when all the international crowds go home what is it going to look like how's it going to be used after that uh, definitely worth looking from a from a specifics and a, a bit of a set a, a nerd out perspective on, on industry and facilities but also facilities management for the purpose of these things being built for a, a world event like the Olympics but does it meet the needs of a population of a city afterwards and then how does that continue to impact and grow the engagement of of consumer and communities with what it is we want them engaged with and that's more pools more spas more often for more health and wellness fitness family and connection benefits Okay, then we also like to see what's going on with the industry, some indicative numbers. Uh, the annual pool DAs, now this is on page 11 of the Splash magazine, some of the Cordell stats. Uh, these are not, you, you wouldn't put your mortgage on these. You wouldn't bet at all on the Cordell stats. So they're just a little bit indicative, showing annual pool DAs down 12%. It depends where you are regionally. What we've been seeing, as we spoke about in previous podcasts uh, with Luke on a couple of weeks ago, is the consumer shows. We are seeing steady and slightly increased consumer numbers, except for WA. That was wild. That was a massive increase of consumers engaging with the, the pool and spa show over there. But we are seeing steady to a very small single-digit increase on the East Coast anyway, uh, for consumers turning up at these shows and coming to engage with our industry. So uh, the numbers here, you can have a flick through those and read them. I'm not sure, to be honest, how how accurate they're going to be. They sort of take a snapshot of time uh, that might not be completely right. We're showing South Australia up by 750%. Well, if you're in South Australia, uh, a builder down there and you're up by 750% this year on last, I'd be interested. WA uh, seems about right with the 15%, but all other states slightly down uh, according to this data. I think what we're really seeing is the East Coast being uh, a little bit more steady with some growth in the West Coast. Certainly, we're in single-digit growth at the moment. 
Also, I want to bring your attention to something that, well, some of our readers took a little bit of concern and an issue with, and just bring up a clarification, and that is the use, and rightly so, of the word sanitization versus sanitation. They are not interchangeable words. There is a difference. Uh, and the there is a title in the last issue of the magazine uh, that said, make sure your water sanitization claims are real. And that was to deal with, obviously, sanitization rather than sanitation. So what's the difference? Well, water sanitation. All right, you get your tongue tied on this stuff, but there is a difference uh, between the two. Water sanitation is... Uh, well, with the focus is proper management of human waste. The goal, stop the harmful spread of pathogens from feces and urine uh, to water sources and the environment. Pretty important. Be gross, but really important. Uh, some examples of that might be building toilets, managing sewerage systems, safely disposing of wastewater and promoting hand washing practices. Uh, and the impact is that it prevents diseases like cholera, typhoid, hepatitis, uh, and lots of other fun ones like that, and improves public health, reduces uh, environmental pollution. So that's sanitation. But what is water sanitization? Well, it's got to focus on eliminating harmful microorganisms and contaminants from the water itself. The goal of water sanitization to make water safe for drinking, cooking and hygiene. An example would be filtration, chlorination, UV radiation, all the things that our industry is involved in. Many of your ears just pricked up and went, well, that's what we do. It is what we do. Uh, exactly that. Filtration, chlorination, UV radiation and so forth. Uh, even boiling water is a form of sanitizing water uh, that we don't want that for our pools and spas. Uh, and what's the impact? Well, it reduces waterborne diseases like diarrhea, dysentery, worm infections. Oh, so gross. Um, and promotes healthy communities because we want healthy water. So making sure that your sanitization claims are correct was indeed the right term. Appreciate industry who came back and sort of challenged the way that, that those terms should be used and thought it was worth just touching on as we all seek to uh, improve our definitions uh, around industry together. <laughs> Introducing the Zodiac Freerider Cordless Pool Cleaner, the ultimate solution for hassle-free pool maintenance. Say goodbye to cumbersome cords and tangled hoses. This innovative pool cleaner effortlessly navigates all pool surfaces, ensuring a thorough clean every time. Its powerful suction and scrubbing brushes remove dirt, leaves and debris, trapping all the mess in its dual filtration basket. Experience the convenience and efficiency of the Zodiac Freerider Cordless Pool Cleaner today. Visit our website to learn more. Zodiac Freerider. Unleashed Cleaning Power. I want to take you to an interview very shortly with Dana Bagore Latchford, who is speaking with a marketing agency representing uh, Polaris Hinges, who you might be aware of. And the reason I want to share this with you, it's such a good conversation. There's some insight into a product like a, a, a soft closing uh, gate, obviously safety and a standard that we have to have here in Australia, but their expansion into the US uh, and the way that a, a an industry that is not so regulated or focused towards safety as we are here has picked up a product uh, like that. And so much of that has to do with the way the brand has positioned itself on education uh, and, and marketing itself. Definitely worth listening to. Now, Polaris have also made a decision that they are going to be the sponsors of a new TV program that you've also got access to. We've mentioned on the podcast before, uh, Dana doing the interview heads up the consumer brand Pool and Spa Lifestyle on behalf of industry. It is a website, it is a magazine, it is the consumer shows that we've spoken about, the impact they're having. We think somewhere between one in four and one in three pools that get built in Australia are driven by the decisions and the interactions that happen at the consumer show. So incredibly powerful consumer brand. There is now a TV show that goes with that opportunity for you to be involved, but I want you to have a listen to this interview uh, from a marketing perspective with Polaris Hinge uh, and enjoy I'm here this morning with Donna Kunsevic from, um, who's a project manager for business communications agency Phoenix. One of their clients is Glass Hardware Australia, um, who you'll probably more um, be more familiar with as um, Polaris Hinges, and they design and manufacture the soft close gate systems um, known as Polaris Hinges. So. Donna, welcome. Tell us a little bit about um, Polaris Hinges and how long you've had a relationship with Michael and the team for. 
Uh, I've been working with a team at Polaris now for about seven years, and I've seen firsthand how much of a difference Polaris Hinge products are making for people, not just with backyard pools, but in resorts, childcare centres, as you mentioned, pet stores, pretty much anywhere Polaris has been retrofit. It's a huge difference. That banging, clanging noise that people have suffered through has affected, you know, their lifestyle, their experience. It's just been terrible. I think you know you guys have had uh, a lot of traction in the commercial market as well, particularly with hotel resorts, where you know that banging sound of the gates would really have a huge impact on um, people who are trying to have a relaxing holiday. Um, I know that there's been a, a few resorts that have um, upgraded their systems and um, or up, up, upgraded their pool fences, and they've really had such a kind of it's been such a positive experience for them. Yeah, 100%. Um, that's really one of the main reasons. Uh, we, we started marketing specifically for a period to resorts and hotels because we did a few jobs, um, Crown Plazas and different resorts that they reached out because they saw some of the marketing. And in terms of their customer experience, it was their maintenance managers that really um, were getting sort of the brunt of the, the questions about, you know, can't you stop that slamming? you know, why Why we're paying this amount of money for, you know, our accommodation and we're hearing that bang, 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 bang. And obviously you've got kids around the pool areas, so it's a high traffic area, kids coming in and out and it, it can be unbearable and you've got other guests that may not have kids that are staying with them and they're listening to that banging. So really hotels and resorts, it, it's been a wonderful um, community of people that have, you know, on board really and become part of the retrofit community. Um, how are you getting the message out to consumers and trade? I mean, the retrofit community, that's the people that have now experienced the Polaris difference. They, they were an untapped community until we did manage to get the word out there that there is a solution, a high-quality solution for the slamming pool hinge gates. We'll, we've leveraged various digital platforms, TV, magazines, trade shows, wherever we can find people that are open to learning more about Polaris hinges. I mean, we back them when we know that they're the best on the market. So we'll continue to educate that. What insights and advice do you have for businesses in developing content for their brands that support their sales? Because the education process is really so key to, um, to, you know, seeing sales come through those pipelines. It's so very true. Um, I mean, the digital space can be daunting for some businesses, a little confusing, but uh, our very best advice, and it sounds cliche, but be authentic. Be raw, consistent and confident in your content creation. Have fun with it. You know, we speak with a lot of businesses on a regular basis and find that even if they have an amazing product, they still may neglect that their business itself, their brand needs to show up and present itself in a way that's reflective of who they are, their personality, what they stand for and how they want to be perceived. You know, Polaris is a great example of a business intent on educating consumers and installers to assist them to choose the best product for their situation. And consumers did not understand how critical they are in the safety and longevity of their gates and fences. And Polaris want to make sure that all the support is given to make informed purchase decisions. I don't think that you can have enough content out there. It's uh, The more content, the better it really helps um, consumers to make those, those choices. So, you know, we've, um, pool fencing is um, a requirement here in Australia and you're, you guys are seeing unprecedented growth at the moment in the US market. Talk to us about how international markets are in the fencing space, how it's different from Australia and what trends do you see in the future? Well, I mean, Australia has some of the toughest pool regulations in the world, rightly so. So it's fair to say that Australia can be looked upon as a guide to best practice. Right now, there is a change, as you said, in the US market in particular, with some states identifying the need to update their regulations around pool barriers. By no mistake, Polaris are on the ground ready to assist with that knowledge, education and training in hinge safety and installation. I mean, the guys, Team Polaris, have just returned from another US trip and the reception over there for these guys has been amazing. They've been invited out to customer facilities to conduct training sessions and installations. And I mean, that's really saying something. You've got you know, um, installation companies over there asking our Australian guys to jump in and go out to their customers 
So we are so excited to share that um, Polaris have signed on as a show partner, a major show partner for our new TV series, Poolside um, Sparring Garden. What's really awesome about this particular program is that it's very brand focused um, with a deep dive into the features and benefits of the products that are being presented, um, giving you more content to incorporate across your own channels. Now, the website is going to be launching hopefully within the next week, which will generate uh, media across spas of platforms, including Pool and Spa for Consumer, uh, Splash for Trade, and ALM for the Commercial Aquatics Arena. Brand funded TV media is a super effective way of developing professional media content and national exposure that can be leveraged across your own marketing platforms. So Polarisage is excited by this initiative and will certainly leverage this program. Thank you so much, Donna, for spending some time with me this morning to um, talk about what Polaris and, and you're up to. It's um, it's great to see another Australian success story really taking the global stage by storm. That's an absolute pleasure, Dana. Thank you for the opportunity. We appreciate it. We'll hope to speak to you again soon. Dive into savings with EcoStar, Australia's most efficient seven-star pump from Hayward. EcoStar variable speed pump maximises performance while minimising energy costs. With cutting-edge technology, EcoStar circulates water quietly and seamlessly, ensuring a sparkling pool every dip. Say goodbye to high bills and hello to the ultimate in pool pump efficiency. Upgrade today and make a splash with the EcoStar, where performance meets savings. Visit au.haywood.com or call now to discover EcoStar, the pinnacle of pool pump efficiency from Haywood. Yeah, if you've got an interest in speaking with consumers and getting your brand in front of consumers, do reach out uh, Dana at sparza.com.au or me, David at sparza.com.au. Definitely here to help. We want to see our brands, our industry promoted well to consumers. Uh, that is an audience now of about 350 thousand consumers um, that have been directly uh, engaged with that brand uh, and our industry through that brand. So do reach out. Thank you for being a part of the Splash Podcast. We look forward to continuing our relationship like this, wherever it is. Maybe we're, we've got a relationship at the office or at home or in the car, wherever it is. It's, uh, it's fun to be hanging out with you and looking forward to continuing to develop our Splash AI uh, feature there, malfunctioning a little bit at the moment. Until next time, ready, set, Splash. <laughs>